So we're here visiting the seventh largest city of the Slovak Republic, Trnava. Trnava is situated just over 45 kilometers northeast of the capital Bratislava and has approximately 65,000 inhabitants. The city also happens to serve as the capital of the region by the same name. In more recent years, archaeologists have discovered that the city's origins go back to the Neolithic period, but written references date from the early 1200s. And here we are at the site and former entrance of the city gates built originally in the 13th century. The remnants of the old medieval city gates still provide a welcoming greeting to the charm of a modern Central European city that still maintains a deep respect for its traditional past. The pristine inner city old town is lined with streets that conspicuously retains this charm through its well-maintained architecture, and yet it splendidly radiates a sense of colorful and vibrant modernity that doesn't feel forced. The city also plays hosts to a number of local traditional events such as this medieval themed wine festival that we had just happened to stumble upon at the right time of year. As with many local annual events here in Slovakia, the occasion provides the perfect opportunity for family and friends to get together and enjoy the convivialities. One of the best places to get a great scenic view of the city is to climb to the top of the 16th century city tower, located by the main square. Whenever I overlook a city from a high view, um, it helps me to appreciate what the early inhabitants of the city had contributed to what it is today. And it gives you an idea as to, as to what the medieval structure you know, of a city like this back in the Middle Ages would have been like. The old town of Tanava is also not short of cafes, most of which have English-speaking staff. Guests with young children also need not worry. Many of these cafes are very family-friendly and are equipped with their own kitty corners. So now we're going to check out one of the most modern and commercial buildings here in the city of Tanava. And where I'm standing right now, you have the modernity of the mall on one side, and then you have on the other side, the medieval wall. But you all know what a mall looks like, so I won't get into too much detail about that. If there's one thing I can say about Tanava, it's that there's no shortage of churches over here. And this is actually one of the major attractions of the city. In fact, due to its relatively large number of churches, Tanava is nicknamed the Little Rome or the Slovak Rome. The majority of Slovaks are Catholic, so it pretty much goes without saying that most of the churches here in Tanava are in fact Roman Catholic. The city also boasts the Zapadoslovenska Museum, which in itself is housed in a historical building. Further interesting insights into the history of the city and Western Slovakia in general, the museum is highly recommended. At the time in which this video was being filmed, we also happened to have been in Tanava at the time that a military reenactment was taking place. So behind me is a memorial dedicated to the Jewish community of Ternava that had died or were largely um, expelled or executed during the Holocaust between 1942 and 1945. It always makes me feel humbled whenever I see these in these major cities in, uh, in Central and Eastern Europe. 
you know, it's always, you know, it's always a remembrance of, you know, the people that once lived over here but no longer do. I would definitely say that one of the highlights of coming to Tanaba is to come to this wonderful cafe that's been fashioned out of an old synagogue. And much of the internal and external uh, integrity of the building has been well maintained. It's just, it's quite sad coming over here in a way as well because it's reminiscent of a community, of a vibrant community that once lived here but largely no longer do. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel.